Yo, it's your boy here. Welcome back to another bag of video. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys the most broken top five meta loadouts for season five reloaded. Now, these loadouts are absolutely insane, so make sure you watch this video to the very, very end to get each loadout. Now, with everything done, I said let's get into the first loadout. So, for the first loadout of this video, we are using a stack HV and a ball 27. So, let's get into these glass setups. For the muzzle, we are using a quarter master suppressor for undetectable bar radar, gun kit control, and recoil control. For the barrel, we are using the Augur 840 light barrel for aimed outside speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and a hit fire and retax and spread. For the under barrel we are using the XRK Edge BW4 handstop for aim walking speed, movement speed, aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. For the optic we are using the Jack Glasses optic and for the last attachment we are using the 34 light stock for aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed and aim down sight speed. So without further ado let's get into the BAL27 class. This is the stack HV class. So for the BAL27 let's get into it. So for the muzzle we are using the ZM35 compensated for short and radar pings, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil and fighting stability. For the barrel we are using the Crown H3 barrel for bullet velocity and range, aim walking speed, aiming out of sway and movement speed. For the ammunition we are using high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range. For the magazine we are using the 60 round mag and for the last attachment we are using the Arden tack stock for gun kit control, if I aim stability and recoil control. Now this right here is the battle 27 class, uh, let's get on to the second loadout. So for the second loadout we have a movement superior 46 and a STG 44 class setup. So without further ado let's get into this superior class and then we'll go through the STG class after. So for the muzzle we are using a quarter mass suppressor for undersensible radar, gun kit control, recoil control. For the barrel we are using a bore 99 short barrel for hit fire and tax on spread, sprint to fire speed, aimed out sight speed and movement speed. For the under barrel we are using a DR6 hand stock for aimed out sight speed, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed and movement speed. For the magazine we are using a 40 round mag and for the stock we are using a no stock for sprint to fire speed, crouch movement speed, aimed out sight speed and aim walking speed. Now you can change this for the rescue 9 stock if you want to but for this class it works best with the no stock. Now that right there is the spray 46 class let's get into the secondary. So for the STG for the muzzle we are using the quarter master suppressor again for gun kit control and recoil control. For the barrel we are using the C70 long barrel for bullet velocity and range and I aim in idle sway. For the under barrel we are using the power cord grip for horizontal recoil, sprint to fire speed, aiming out of sway and aim walking steadiness. For the magazine we are using the 50 round drum and for the last attachment we are using the jack glasses optic. Now that right there is the STG44 class to go with the Superi 46. Let's get on to the third loadout of this video. So for the third loadout of this video we have the Ram 9 and the BP50. So let's get into this Ram 9 class and then we'll go through the BP50 class. So for the muzzle we are using the ZM35 compensated for short and radar things, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil and fire aim stability. For the barrel we are using the light barrel for aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed and sprint speed. For the under barrel we are using the Kimaru RYN03 vertical grip for gun kit control vertical recoil, aiming out of sway and fire aim stability. For the magazine we are using the 50 round mag and then for the last attachment we are using the HVS 3.4 pad for gun kit control, aiming out of sway, fire aim stability and recoil control. And that right there is the Ram 9 class, let's get into the second one. So for the muzzle on the BP50 we are using the quarter master suppressor for unsusceptible bar radar, gun kit control and recoil control. For the barrel we are using the Law 9 heavy barrel for bullet velocity and range, gun kit control, recoil control and fire aim stability. For the under barrel we are using the Bruin heavy support grip for gun kit control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil and fighting stability. For the magazine we are using the 45 round mag and for the last attachment we are using the jack glasses optic. Now this right here is the BP50 class to go with the Ram 9. Let's get into the fourth loadout of this video. So for the fourth loadout of this video we are using the Lockman sub and the MTZ556 together. So let's get into this Lockman class first. So for the muzzle on the MP5 we are using the ZM35 compensated flash hider for short and radar pings, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil and fighting stability. For the under barrel we are using the Bruin heavy support grip for gun kit control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil and fighting stability. For the magazine we are using the 40 round mag. And then for the last attachment we are using the May Recoil 56 factory stock for aiming idle sway, recoil control and gun kit control. Now that right there is the MP5 class, let's get on to the secondary. So for the MTZ we are not using any muzzle, we are just going to go straight to the barrel. So for the barrel we are using the MTZ Clinch Pro barrel for bullet velocity, damage range, aiming idle sway and fire aim stability. For the under barrel we are using the power cord grip for horizontal recoil, sprint to fire speed, aiming idle sway and aim walking steadiness. For the magazine we are using the fish round drum then for the optic we are using a jack glasses optic and then for the last attachment we are using a brewing arch angle mk2 stock for gun kit control and fire aim stability now this right here is the mtz class 
let's get on to the, the fifth loadout of this video. So for the last loadout, we are using the MCW conversion kit with the M4, so let's get into this loadout. So for the muzzle on the MCW, we're using the Quartermaster Suppressor for Undetectable Barrier, Gun Kit Control and Recoil Control. So for the barrel, we are using the Second Line Mammoth Heavy Barrel for Bullet Blasting Range, Aim Walking Steadiness, Aim Walking Speed and Movement Speed. For the laser, we are using the SL Razor Hawk Laser Light for Aim Walking Steadiness, Tax Stand Spread, Sprint Defy Speed and Aim Down Sight Speed. For the magazine, we are using the 40 Round Mag and then for the conversion kit, we are using the Jack Raven kit for rate of fire, mobility and handling, damage at close range, and hit fire and tax on spread. Now, this right here is the MCW class. Let's get on to the secondary. So, for the muzzle on the M4, we are using the Quarter and Master Suppressor for unsuspectable radar, gun kick control, and vehicle control. For the under barrel, we are using the Power Code Grip for horizontal recoil, sprint to fire speed, aiming out of sway, and aim walking steadiness. For the magazine, we are using the 45 round mag. And for the optic, we are using the Cronin Intelas MSP12 for precise sight picture, aiming stability, hit fire and tax on spread and aimed out sight speed and then for the last attachment for the stock we are using the Corio Perico factory for aiming out of sway recoil control and hit fire and tight sight spread that this right here is the M4 glass to go with the MCW so that right there was the top five loadouts for the season five reloaded as always if you enjoyed the channel drop a like subscribe and hit the notification bell if this video actually helped you without further ado I'll see you guys in the next one I hope you enjoyed peace